Hey everyone, we're from the University of Lincoln. I'm Natalie. And I'm Brandon. And today we will be taking you through Lincoln to explore its rich and interesting history. We'll be walking around the city, stopping at some of the more historic locations before we get to Lincoln's most famous historical location. The Lincoln Cathedral. Let's go. The history of Lincoln begins on the Brayford Pool, a natural harbour on the River Witham. There was an Iron Age settlement here as early as 100 BC, known as Linden, or the place by the pool. As well, we've got some fantastic restaurants on the north side and pubs. And then on the south side is the University of Lincoln campus. We are now on High Bridge, which sits atop High Street. This is the oldest bridge in the UK which still has buildings on it, dating back to 1160 AD. All that is left from the bridge's original purposes is a short row of black and white timbered shops, dating back to around 1550. In the houses currently is Stokes Bridge Cafe, which opened in 1902, and then right next to it is Stokes To Go, which is a great place to go with family and friends if you're fancying afternoon tea, or also a little pick-me-up before you go up Steep Hill like we want to. The High Street is the centre of culture, history and shopping. It runs closely parallel to the Roman Fosse Way, which linked Linden Colonia to Exeter in the southwest of England. And on the east side, all these shops were built on the foundations of Roman roads. On the walk up the High Street, you will pass under this beautiful early 16th century stone bridge called Stonebow. The word stonebow comes from the ancient Norse word stenebogi, which means stone arch, which seems fitting. And right next door is the Guild Hall, which opened in 1520 and houses all the council meetings in Lincoln. It also holds numerous pieces of regalia, including Mayor's Chains of Office, Mayor's Posy Ring, and the sword of Richard II. The Strait is famous for its eclectic mix of independent businesses, from traditional sweet shops to fashion boutiques and more. But it also has some historical value. For example, here we have Jews Court, which dates back to the 17th century with bookstore inside and is home to the Society of Lincolnshire History and Archaeology. And then right next door is Jews House. Jews House dates back to the 12th century and the elaborate doorway and windows still remain. We're now about to embark on Steep Hill. Why is it called that? Well... Because it's really steep, you may have to give us a minute. This steep, cobbled street has a 16.12 degree gradient and named the fourth steepest street in England by the Ordnance Survey. Steep Hill first became used by the residents of Lincoln when the city was called Lindum Colonia and the Roman inhabitants decided to expand the settlement down the hill. If you're brave enough, Steep Hill is a great place to visit independent businesses such as fudge pantries, cheese shops, independent boutiques and more. At the top of Steep Hill, we have Castle Hill, aptly named as Lincoln Castle is to the west. The castle was built by William the Conqueror in 1068 on a site occupied since Roman times. Within the castle walls is a Victorian prison and one of only four original copies of the Magna Carta dating back to 1215. Castle Hill is famously the location of the Battle of Lincoln, which took place in 1217, where the French took over the castle and forced the British troops out of the Exchequer and down Steep Hill. You will also find the Lee Pemton House, a half-timbered grade two listed 16th century Tudor merchant house that is now the Visitor Information Centre. And to the east, we made, we made it. it. With the Norman invasion of Britain in the 11th century, William the Conqueror commissioned Remigio de Faucon, the first bishop of Lincoln, to build Lincoln Cathedral, one of Europe's finest Gothic buildings. Foundations were laid in 1072, and on May 9th, 1092, it was consecrated. At the time of its consecration, Lincoln Cathedral was the head of the largest area that is under the control of a bishop in England, extending from the Humber to the Thames. 
After fires and earthquakes, the cathedral had to be rebuilt and it's now in the style of Gothic architecture. When the central spire was eventually raised in 1311, it became the tallest building in the world, taking the mantle from the Great Pyramid of Giza. This lasted until 1549 when the spire collapsed in a storm. Surrounding the cathedral, you can find some more nuggets of history. Including the North Tower and the upper city wall of the Roman city is right outside. Installed in 1905, just one year after his death, this amazing statue commemorates one of Britain's best poets, Alfred Lord Tennyson. These are remains of the Southeast Gateway and of the medieval wall that surrounded the community of Lincoln Cathedral during the 13th century. And the Newport Arch, which is the oldest arch in the UK still actively used by traffic. Thanks so much for joining us on a historical tour of Lincoln. We as students are lucky to see it every day. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media. We hope to see you in Lincoln very soon. Bye. Bye-bye.